here with Ian Allenson after the Saints progress through to the third round of the FA Trophy with a 3-0 win over Cray Wanderers here at Clowns Park. Ian, another comfortable victory. What did you make of it? Uh, I thought first 20 minutes was quite tough. I thought they had a lot of possession. Um, they certainly uh, play with a big, you know, a load of flair. Um, they spread the game out really big. Uh, but I think, I think once we got to grips with the way they played, they, you know, their keepers made three or four really good saves just before half time, and then unfortunately they've had the sending off. And it, it didn't make a lottery of the game, but it, it, the extra man told, and really the three 0 could have quite easily been six or seven today. Their keepers made sort of five or six really good saves. I think in the first half we had 11, 11 shots, eight on target. And in the end, we've had something like 17 shots, and we've had 12 of them on target. So, and the, and the keepers made some great saves. But it was just nice to get the first and the second. It took a little bit of pressure off us and calmed us down. And we played some lovely stuff. And the third goal really summed it up for me. It was a, a good flowing move, and uh, it got us, got us obviously just to, to relax for that last sort of 10, 15 minutes. You mentioned that red card. How important was it to score so early after the second well, half kicked off? Well, it is because obviously they, they, that gives them a little bit more confidence. Um, knowing that they've got to come out with 10 men and try and get back in the game. It was always going to leave some room and some space and some, and some areas for us to go and, uh, and, and, and hurt them. Unfortunately for us, our finishing wasn't very good today. I felt we, we, we gave the goalkeeper too many opportunities to make saves. Um, and it took us a long time to put the game to bed. Uh, but the, you know, the pleasing side is we played some fantastic football. Um, you know, we are certainly at the moment, the last two games, you know, playing with a flair, which is nice. Um, and, and I say the only criticism I will have about today's performance is that we we didn't win more convincingly. And that, you know, in, in, when you go into the bigger games, we've only had one or two or three chances in games and we've taken them tonight. We've had a number of chances and we've not taken the amount we should have done. Sean looked a little bit tired tonight, I felt, and, and, and he snatched it two or three. And another game, you know, Sean could have quite easily had a hat-trick. Uh, it's good to see Mitchell on the score sheet again, good to see Zane on the short score sheet. Um, and obviously with um, Kyron weighing in with one. Um, it's good, so you know, there's competition for places. As I said earlier, I feel a little bit sorry for, for some of the players that, that haven't made the, the starting line-up today because it is frustrating. I think a lot of people thought that I might make five or six changes and the one thing, I, I, I don't want to undo all of the good work that we've done by, by making too many changes and, and we lose our, our focus on what we're trying to do, which is obviously the first and foremost is, is the league. Um, and if you go and suffer a defeat in a game like tonight, it just might set you back a little bit. So I wanted to stay away from all of that um, and make sure that we get through into the, game, into the next round and, and we'll take our chance against Sutton on, on Saturday. It's going to be a tough game. We know that. We played them in pre-season. They're, they're a strong side and uh, you know, we're going to have to be at our very, very best if we're going to get a positive result. Of course, another clean sheet this evening. And I thought Devontae Stanley caught the eye of a few supporters for, uh, watching the game. Yeah, I, mean, I think you've got, as I said before, you've got to feel really sorry for Devontae because um, he, uh, <clears throat> he, he came in in pre-season, was outstanding. Um, played a couple of games um, and then got a, got a cold, really. Um, but we had to keep him away for 10 days and he had a, he had a COVID test, which was negative. Um, but he lost his place to Michael and, he, and he's never really got it back. Uh, and Michael Clark's come in and done great for us. So it's great, it's healthy to have competition for places. Um, Devon is a smashing kid as well as, he, you know, he wants to go and play, he wants to work hard, got cramp in the second half. Um, but we've also got to be careful, you know, we've got David De Heyju who needs games, we've got David Noble that needs games, we've got Chinanok who needs games, Joseph Chitsiako needs games. All of them people need games. Um, but it's difficult when we haven't got a reserve side. Um, so we have to rely on the first team. We've put a couple of games in recently against Watford under 23s, which has been great for us. But it's still not the same as playing competitive games. And you mentioned Sutton there. It's going to be a tough test, isn't it? Yeah, they're a good side. Um, as I said in, in pre-season, you know, out of the three, the, the, the Willstone, the Sutton and the Kingsland, Sutton were the side that I felt were, were really a, a strong, powerful outfit. Um, and if they added goals to what they had, they were going to be they were going to be a strong contender this year, and I think it's been proven right. You know, they're up there, they're up there for the reason. Um, it'll be a tough game for us.